Okay. So gonna be inking my sketches today and it's pretty much gonna be a recording of just me spending time how to ink. I'm not gonna talk a lot or maybe just gonna be like chatting very slowly. So like I'll just start inking. I just don't dive in to the to start my inking process it's more like um looking at the drawing or the sketch and then figuring out which one uh not which one like how can i start you know like from which angle can i actually start inking this so yeah that's pretty much what i'm doing and um, I don't, I don't really outline right away, like, you know, in the inking process, it's more like creating, uh, like basically painting, but using blacks. That's, that's the, that's just how I ink. And, uh, it's very useful to do it that way. Uh, you'll find it quite, um, you know, you'll find it quite interesting to follow that flow because it's like if you're a painter and you've been painting for a while now it's pretty much the same thing but like you're just using blacks so yeah that's basically how i start inking and yeah so it's gonna create some depth over here Definitely keep turning the canvas, which is completely fine since I'm inking anyway, so you know, I don't mind zooming in a bit every now and then. And do it slowly. Don't have to, you don't have to have like perfect lines, it's more about how it creates the form so yeah that's what matters more than anything else it's like creating contours of the image or of the look and feel of the image and just drawing on that man it's pretty it's pretty relaxing to be honest and you don't have to worry a lot you know but yeah this is basically my inking process not really a pro inker but i love inking like out of all the things when it comes to drawing inking is like really fun So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing for this entire session, ink as much as I can, probably, uh, well I'm actually recording this so I might take breaks but you know, the magic of video editing and uh, you know, you won't come to know whether I've actually taken a break or not. So, yeah. So. So this. In real life, you don't really have lines, right? Like you don't really see outlines on people. So. The objective of when you're inking is, like, you're not trying to create lines. You're trying to create silhouettes or shapes. So that's the whole goal. That's how you're supposed to be thinking when you're doing this. It will kind of help. Oh, uh, let's see. How do I do this one? Okay, this one. It will kind of help. Like how the eyebrows, you know, shaped. How the hair shaped. You're basically thinking all that. So 
this far. It's like to here, that's it. Do a little bit of tailing. See that? So when I like to zoom out, it looks pretty pretty good. Right. Um you're basically learning how to ink like this. Just spend your time and understanding how the shape and sizes are and what are you going to create with those lines of yours like is it a silhouette is it a material you're supposed to be thinking all that in your inking it's a very very relaxing process see that and then i'll create a hole here and then that's her hair coming from. And then probably keep that like tilt her hair over here. I like using this brush because of the texture. Nothing else otherwise. But yeah. I want to create this little bit of a line over here which gives that whole look at that that whole feeling of how the hair is shining kind of you know kind of thing and this part maybe I'll just erase a little bit could you use whites Definitely could use whites. Um, maybe in, maybe after I finish that part, I'll, I might consider. But it's okay. It's okay if I don't use them, to be honest. Uh, this is all sketching, so it's like all practice. Not really making any illustration piece for someone or anything like that. Just, just having fun. Ah, so good. The more detail you want to put in, the the more time you'll take. But you kind of want to slow down, and you will get like really good results of the of the way you want to you know ink something. So it's worth the time that you're going to take to ink something like that. And don't worry about it, you know, like, just be, just be you, basically, at that point, and ink the best in your ability you can. Um, oftentimes people will mistake this, oh, but you're, you're kind of like doing digitally, and it's line art, and I'm like, yeah, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't really make a difference. And... The goal is is the desired result that you want of, from your art in general. There you go. So you have a reset. See that? Pretty cool. A lot of the work is pretty much done. Right? And then do this. Um, I don't use a single brush, uh, but I, in this case, since I've just started the inking process, I'm just sticking to one brush. But like, yeah, I would change brushes based on like how much of a volume of ink I want, or like you know how much black depth I want in my piece. So like, yeah, I'll probably do that. You know. And there you go, got this line work, line work over here. Um, you finish that part, you got this part done. See that? I hope I'm like pretty audible. Um, 
only way to find out is actually check the video or test the video uh let me see Mm, I think I'm within range of uh, most of the most of the level of audio filters. Yeah, I think I'm within range overall. Sorry, that. That's just how I'm doing most of my work. Mm. Hand. hand comes over here. really not really worried if it's not perfect i'm okay with it just want to make a good art piece a decent art piece that's all Extra lines can erase, not to worry. So this part, which will be like probably giving some level of depth as shadows. There you go. What is this selected? Okay. Um, shoulder into a, another arm over here, which will give me the second arm. You know, the sketch looks fine, but I think I'll, yeah, you know, I know what to do. I think I know what I can do here. Um, we got our arm across. Let's just put it that way. And one will come somewhere around here. Let's round up this part a little bit. Choose that. Erase this. And if you were doing this on paper, I'd probably use a lot of wipes, but I would plan it. Like, I mean, I am planning it here as well, but I'm like no pro and all that stuff. So, so I would definitely have a lot of white ink. Just use like a white marker or white ink or something like that. That would give like a, you know, to clean up on the paper. This brush which I'm using is kind of like, um, it kind of gives that texture of the pencil meets like a dry brush ink kind of texture and I like that so that's basically what I'm doing. That's basically what I wanted so yeah just just using that. This part here. There you go. Not really perfect, but giving it's giving me the results I want, and I should be good with this. 
put here. This one I think doesn't need it. Put here. Basically, the arm is turning around, so we'll get that. That cut and intents of the elbow so that it it looks like oh, okay there is a joint at that point you know here there's a line here and here which ends like a rubber duck which i have created don't really care about the duck so much forgive me it can be on a low it doesn't have to be that detailed I can do it but do I really need to do it it's basically the question so if you don't need it in detail, you don't really need to draw it in detail. Let's just look without the sketch, see how it looks without the sketch. It looks perfect. Doesn't need, doesn't need the sketch underneath to hold. And that's basically the objective. If you're inking something, um, it should look so good that uh, you don't need the sketch underneath to hold it. And if you can pull that off, then you're pretty much solved. Uh, you're pretty much inking. Pretty, you're doing a pretty good job. But there are a lot of other things that you need to learn as well when you're inking. It's not just about like making good lines. So yeah, it's, uh, it's not that easy. It is fun though, I'm not gonna lie. It is fun, indeed. So yeah, there you go. So I want to show that that part of our body is underwater. So it's not really going to be um perfectly shaped because of the water. So what I'm going to do is. I'll make lines. Oh. So this is why you sketch and then you you make the lines. A little bit of curve. And to differentiate that, because now this looks like it's it's a bit furry. <laughs> Not really intended to do that. differentiate that is you add line weight to your work there you go now maybe a little bit of line weight here 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 She's actually got her legs over here, so gonna add that as well. Uh, this part is actually the leg here, which connects to this point. So there you go. The lower half being underwater. All right. And yeah, wait, I do have to erase this part. I don't really need that part. I had some font which I created, and that will come at this point here. And I never intended it to be like straight line for the font, you know, it's like it's like all wobbly, like ripples on of water. So, yeah, but it'll be a little dark. Maybe this I can make a little darker. 
subscribe. There we go. There we go. Last one. There you go. This should do most of the work. Got some lines here. I don't know for what reasons, but I'll just have them as water ripples. Maybe. I don't know. Not good. Let's just complete the first one. But that's a very bad hand, folks. Don't draw hands like me, but whatever. Okay, that's the first one. Let's do the second one, which is like a ramen store of sorts, like a front. Yeah. I'll take this part. It's very interesting, that's why. Draw the lines. It's adding value to it. It gets darker in this end. Over here. Well, that'll be interesting. And then this side, we got. Then I could do like lighter lines. They're not really perfect, but it doesn't matter. We got this. This will probably be dark because it's got like some level of shadows and uh, about this it's like a it's like a ring on the ring of a planet but on the on the bull basically And then theme is coming out, so it's probably like made of cardboard or something. I don't know. And then you have this. It's all connected. There you go. It doesn't really look like steam, it looks like fire. And then, okay, that's fine. You know, it's good. Maybe I could just. Instead of doing it that way, I could do it something like this. Let me try this real quick. Well, it does look like fire, but that's, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. At least it's giving you the hint that it's it's not steam, it's fire instead. Not complaining though. So you got this, and then you got this font again. Like, I draw everything from the lines to the shading. 
while I'm working on the piece. And that's completely all right. Like, at least in this phase, when it comes to painting, like, painting and, like, using colors and stuff, then I'll maybe use, like, a planet. Right now, I'm not even, like, planning the layers. I'm just doing everything on one layer. And then I can, like, select and then separate them out if I want to. Which isn't a problem. Here's... The line work. There you go. Here. Okay, there you go. Giving them some line weight to show them that that they're solid 3D objects and not just 2D lines. Yeah. Gets the job done, man. Reduce the size of this. The e over here. Wanted to make like. It's kind of like written funny. It's not really written in like order. Rather, it's like written like in some funny font. And like the end is like kind of like hanging out on the signboard. You know? So something like that. Give it some more weight to the board. Like it's like it's not exactly like attached to to the wall. There's some space between the signboard and the wall. That's basically what I'm trying to do here. There you go. This is another line here. Here, not really joining them, joining them. But you get the point. I see that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. If like I remove that. Not really applying the layers and stuff, but yeah, I did do it in two separate layers, okay. Um, I want lights over here, or at least like, you know, the thing that lights up the signages, or something like that, basically. So it's doing all that kind of thing, you know, and then probably another one over here. I may have to hunt for another ink, inking brush, even though I like this one. Sometimes it feels off. There you go. Okay, and then let's draw some... So like when I'm making the strokes, I'm kind of like... Pressing it and then leaving it, pressing and leaving it. You know, you like press, leave. It's like, it's like you're making, you're making, you know, line hatches. So you kind of do it that way. So that you get, you get like pick start and then tapering lines as you go down. You probably do the same thing on paper as well, so. 
You're just doing the same thing on three on digital instead now. One and the same. I'm gonna do this way. Some gap over here. I don't know why exactly I left the gap, but that's fine. You can always come back and then look at it and find it out if you want to fill that space. There you go. This. And then this is the external point of the building, so probably going to be a little stronger as far as the line weight is concerned. There you go. And next we will do is this part. Tilt it a bit again. And make the lines like this. I'm really not used to talking so much while drawing sirs and mams and whoever else is watching. I'm not used to talking while drawing, man. But I'll give my best. No worries. There you go. And I think I wrote. What did I write here? Oh, new flavor. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We got this. So this is like a 2D sign. It's a weird N. And e. Here's the W. Right. And then I wrote the flavor like this. F L A. We. Oh, and the rest is not visible. <laughs> right, that's the new flavor. It's this part. <sighs> Best ramen of the deep. Ooh. this I think I know what I did here and I should have done the other way around I can do it now though so you got this this is a sign board you know multiple sign boards this got the S you got the Pretty easy, nothing too crazy, nothing too hard. Like if you're drawing as a beginner, you shouldn't be taking like super challenging things. You know, get comfortable with drawing easy stuff and then, then go into the, like the harder, yeah. you know, the more difficult drawings that you want to make. Ah, I wish I was drawing on paper for this. I hate spinning the canvas so much like this. It's easier. It's easier when the paper is in your hands. Alright, so this is something cool. This is what I'm going to do, okay? Um, I want to create like lights. Okay, like lights that are going downwards. And there will be like one. Two, three, four, and another set of four. So that's a total of eight. What I want to do is basically those are lights, so they will be bright. But like I could do this kind of value added shading to make them look like they are the bright sources in the piece. Mostly, I think I'll straighten this out and 
Bunu gizliyor ya. I want it sprayed. Why this sprayed? Like this. I will shift. Shift is like giving me spread lines. I don't really need it, but why not? Why not? Uh, let's do this. Or no, 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 no. This is the right way. Okay. I was gonna do something crazy, but I'm like, I said, like, never mind. There you go. I can actually draw over them and then erase that part, which is also fine. You know, it's completely okay to do that. You'll get like really good tone. See, I'll show you. See that? Looks like it's really part and part of that, you know. So like those circles which I drew are basically acting like guidelines to the part where I need to erase them, basically. Well, that's why I said inking can get really interesting and complicated the more you learn. Like, imagine if you were to draw actually light on this. Like, I'm not even drawing the lights. I'm just drawing, like, the source. What if I was supposed to draw, like, lights? We could try that. It will be interesting to make those. Not gonna lie. But then you need more planning on your ink. I think we'll do that. We'll do that like in coming in like the pieces. See that? It pretty much does this like you know, and then like I can add more depth by darkening certain areas. See that? Pretty cool, man. Right? Change a little bit here. A little bit here. This will be like kind of inconsistent. But it will get the job done. There you go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. A little bit more lines on this part. A little bit here, a little bit here. That really gives you depth, like in a crazy way. Love this. Right, um, on another signboard thingy, whatever it is. Like I could do it this way to give like a certain stylized sense of depth to the drawing. There you go. Like this. I could draw it straight like this, it's fine. Or I don't have to draw it straight, it's completely okay. Whatever style you want to make it as. Right, um, I'm going to write happy hour. Because it's happy hour. Happy hour. Okay. There you go. Very, very rude and crude way to write it. That's okay. I just wanted it, we want this as a sketch, so. Um, 
always you can always go in and then like you know make it better like it's just up to you how much time you want to spend on it so if you want to spend more time you can do that if you want to spend less time you can do that and basically basically just keep drawing how you want to draw it do this do this I want to give some kind of a sense of weathering on the building so it's like it's got this maybe uh, this goes for this area giving you this whole effect It really feels more like penciling than inking, uh, just because of the way the brush behaves, and I guess I'm fine with it. Maybe in the future I'll use a different kind of a more, less textured and more simpler ink brush, which would probably give me the ink, inking style. But I like this brush, so I'm going to use this, because I like it. And then you go this. I do this because I just want to stylize the, the the buildings and all that. Like basically a artistic choice. So that's why I do that. Otherwise, I don't really. Nobody needs to do it. Not really important, but yeah, there you go. This is done. And the same goes for this side. I think I made one more lamp over here, just kind of turn from behind. Probably it's got wire coming down. Could do that, makes it more believable. Got some lines here, got this. window mm -hmm. same goes for this area right erase to make it look that's part of that. Uh, probably not the best version of it, but will do um, I can speed things up now a bit this is, it's easier to work on organic or like you know something that does not have a too much symmetry it's just easier to work on those drawing something which has a lot of symmetry is like definitely harder so you know you got to be careful on those man like but yeah you can you can do a lot you can actually do a lot. So, yeah. There you go. Um, yeah, I'm straight up. I'm straight up, like, painting this octopus-like thing. Well, just control that. 
Do this, follow this part. Mm. Right, and then you go this part, just drawing this area the way I feel like it. It's got its eyes over here. I could do this, something like this. A giant beast. Give it like detail. I'll leave this area. how you make this this these are like contour lines which give the sense of whether there is like um what kind of what kind of surface that is like is it rounded is it flat you know, so like I, I use that, I use, I use this kind of line work to create that sense of depth in black and white. It's, I could shade it, but like that's pretty much how I'm shading it. So yeah, there you go. This. And I would like drawing this part. Another tentacle like thing over here. Um, Well, just create a little depth. The one now those the lower the inner part of the tentacle that's most most of like. They have it like this. There you go. See that? That looks so much better. And then just continue. Because I know what goes where. That's basically why I sketch in the first place. And then inking phase, I'm just like rendering them. Something like this, and then all right, something happened. Photoshop got stuck for a quick minute, but um, but regardless, so there you go. This is the next part of the tentacle. Like I said, it's not like random lines, bro. Right? You're thinking, you're thinking where you want, um, like depth versus where you want like silhouettes or other forms and shapes. So you just have to think through that process and then make make the art according to your results. There you go. Let's make something like this. There you go. That's 
So that completes one other half of this. And So basically, if I put more detail, it's just gonna take me longer. Um, so you gotta, you gotta like think it through, like how much detail do you want to put in? Uh, honestly, I don't mind putting more detail. I'll probably do that. Uh, some part I'll maybe speed up, like because it can get quite boring just to see someone inking the entire thing and yeah maybe some people may like it and they'll be like oh no it's quite peaceful and i appreciate that but yeah it, it can get boring not gonna lie so yeah i could speed up certain parts but that's fine I'm, you know if we want to do that we want to do that and we'll do that but for now i'm just like recording this in like the regular speed and drawing this that's all and just like ink this i really have to get better at inking not gonna lie it's a fun thing to do but i never really got a lot of time to do it because of concept art work uh, and concept art work doesn't always ask you to ink everything Sometimes they'll just be like, hey, could you photo bash this? Could you map paint this? You know, maybe a little bit of 3D here and there. Oh, other painting skills and all that. So it doesn't really ask you to ink, learn to ink. Probably if you're in comic books or making manga, you would have be spending a lot of more time doing this work. Which I could. Not a bad idea. And I love comic books. I don't read a lot. Um, in the sense, I don't read the regular Marvel DC comics anymore. Um... I was reading, though, old comic books, like, uh, what's his name? I keep forgetting his name. Bernie Wrightson's comic books, which is like Frankenstein and all that stuff. I was like, damn, that is inking, man. You know, all that stuff. Um, and then I was reading Weird Science, which is like really cool. Holy shit, like, th th those comic books have got, like, some crazy stories, man. Not gonna lie. So I was reading all that stuff, which is like really fun. And I, I really love how those panels are inked. And manga. I was reading a lot of manga. So. Yeah. Uh, nothing in new stuff, though. Like old manga and all that. Yeah, this pretty much completes this part. Let's give it a little more lines here to show it that there. Right, and damn, look at this. That looks so. This is actually looking good already. I remove well, the octopus definitely looks weird, but like overall, it looks fine. Definitely better than the first one. I I guess the first one has like like I was like still warming up kind of thing, but but yeah, the first one's okay. I'm not gonna remove that. Like I'm not gonna erase that stuff just because it doesn't look good. I'm like ah, oh, it doesn't look good enough. And, you know, nah, I won't do that. Let that remain as it is because it actually isn't that bad. How do you say it that it isn't that bad? Who are you to judge? Hey, come on, man. It's my own artwork, so it's okay. There you go. 
probably a window of sorts. And this character over here that's coming to draw her as well, so I'm gonna give that space. This spins down the lines to give that sense of dark to light. And there you go. Not really the best version of it, but it's getting the job done, so I'll be unsatisfied with it. <sighs> You just keep practicing and you're gonna get better, so there is no other way. Oh yeah, this this is cool. Okay, this is something I can do. Okay, come on. Uh let's do this. Okay. The guys lines all the way up here. And similarly, this part does the same. The guys lines. Right, I'm not. I'm not making the. Um, not making the borders, basically. Just using the lines. Probably this part, maybe at best. Just to fill up. You could say. It covers this here. And then, this part will have its border, not even joining, which is fine. Same goes for this area. And this border, there you go. And then something like this. Uh, and then this part here, there you go. It's like another version of how you can create artwork the way you see fit you can do your own style and nobody else that is basically what it is all right if i remove this yeah that definitely gives it depth and this part here It should give you the full detail of everything. There you go. Problem solved. And probably a little bit more. Some over here. Well, the good stuff. That that really makes a like a really good art piece there. This is without the sketch holding it, you know, like with low opacity and anything. Like this, just remove the sketch and just have a look at how it feels, and you'll get a clear idea. Of where else you can add things, you know, like here you can add line weights. It's already has it. All right, you can add it here on the joints. Just to give it that. Um, this technique is called feathering, if I'm correct, I don't even remember. But yeah, just give it the line weights. So it feels like okay this it's it's on top of something and it's not like you know, like a flat sticker on the on the piece it genuinely feels like it's on top of something yeah it gives so much more better than right away 
similarly with this side. So it could be a line right here, this part here. Maybe I could do like a few lines here and get away with it. See that? So, you know, it really feels good. It really makes the drawing pop. So you want to do that all the time. You know, practice all these line weights, um, you know, shading techniques, inking techniques, hatching or whatever you want to do. Just practice them. It'll make it'll make your artwork way better. So yeah. So yeah, this is like one. We'll go to the next one. Ah, now.